Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm proud to be here. This is almost my second time or third time to be in MENA uh, conference. Uh, I would like really to start by thanking the uh, sponsors, uh, the organizers, and as well the you as audience who uh, took the trouble to come and, and see us today. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Saudi Arabia in general, geology and uh, resources, but my focus will be on uh, uh, Maadin, Saudi Arabian mining company. Maadin, by the way, is a metal in Arabic. And they, um, they, the word Maadin is a metal uh, and its divisions. But uh, just before doing that, uh, as you have seen uh, in the last year, there are many, many uh, dramatic changes have happened in the world. Uh, I mean, the euro crisis uh, today and uh, uh, what, what is going on in, uh, uh, in the Middle East. Uh, uh, now I can just think about what, what will happen in uh, October next year. And uh, you can imagine uh, many changes. I don't want to jump to any conclusion for that effect. It is, and it is like that guy who goes to a travel agent and say, what is the flying time between Dubai and America? And the young uh, receptionist says, said, uh, one minute, please. And, and he said, thank you. So anything can go and uh, that. OK, having said that, I, I, let's see if we can. Uh, I will try to cover in our presentation for the next 20 minutes. The geology uh, will focus on exploration and the going on projects uh, today, uh, which covers the gold, phosphate, aluminum, industrial mineral, and finally, Madden's role as we see it in, in the society with the social responsibility. Uh, as you know, the uh, uh, area of Saudi Arabia is about uh, 2.5 million square kilometers. One third of that is the Arabian uh, Shield. Uh, and there are a uh, lot of geological connectivity between the Arabian Shield and the African Shield, as, as, as we know. And uh, mainly in the Arabian Shield, where are 90% of all uh, commodities, uh, especially for uh, uh, precious and base metal. Uh, however, uh, the younger shield, uh, the younger platform, uh, in the east side of Saudi Arabia. When, when I'm talking about uh, younger, this is only uh, something like seven to eight million years uh, ago uh, compared to uh, almost 400 to 500 million years in the old shield. Uh, that's where is the platform for oil uh, reservoirs as well as uh, in the north side where we have phosphate and the bauxite. Uh, minerals. Uh, today, uh, we are working uh, uh, really hard to uh, get the exploration uh, in place, and uh, our basic target for precious metal is to add 1.5 million ounces per year uh, for our resources. Uh, our resources today, after uh, and last 10 years is coming to 11 million uh, ounces as a resource, uh, according to JORC uh, compliance. Uh, but not only we are uh, shooting for gold, uh, we are trying to grow also our uh, resources based in phosphate and in bauxite. In phosphate today, we have uh, closer to 1.5 billion tons of, uh, of phosphate, and in bauxite, we have something closer to uh, 300 million tons as a resource. And we are adding also in our portfolio uh, precious metal, best metal, uh, in copper and zinc, uh, and uh, new minerals uh, uh, like, uh, uh, for example, the, uh, the uranium or maybe uh, rare earth elements. 
And to do that, uh, Madden have embarked uh, now on, 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 on um, uh, electromagnetic uh, surveys, airborne uh, basic surveys. Uh, as I've been telling uh, our colleagues here, you can go to the ground and you can check that uh, by yourself, but that will take uh, ages. That will take uh, us two or four years. Uh, we have landed now in a major campaign uh, in all uh, the potential part of Saudi Arabia. Uh, Ma'adin has today a closer of 50,000 square kilometers in concessions. And that is representing more or less 10% of the whole uh, Arabian shield. Uh, I will talk now for the uh, next few minutes about the projects. Uh, where we, we are today in these projects. Number one, uh, as a Madin gold and base metal, uh, we have currently uh, five gold mines uh, running. Our production uh, today is 150,000 uh, ounces uh, on average, uh, and that is after almost now been in business for 20 years. We started Mahad Dahab in 1987. And that followed by Suhaib Rat in uh, 1991. So oh, after uh, 20 years now, uh, the, 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 we managed to extend the lifetime, but naturally the, the mines are de depleting. As I mentioned earlier, we have today in our portfolio around 11 million ounces of resources and not reserves, because there's a major difference between that. Uh, we are developing today uh, two mines. Uh, we have Al-Duwehi mine and Al-Sug mine. They are under development as we speak. Uh, however, there are also another three mines uh, under uh, uh, consideration for development, Mansura, Masarra, and the Rujum. Uh, in the middle of the Saudi Arabia or the Central Arabia, water is very scarce. It is, uh, I mean, to find it first. And if, even if you find it, you find it's very saline water. Actually, it's saline more than the sea because the sea uh, contains, the salt in sea is something between 35 to 40,000 particles per million. Some of the waters there is, has 150 to 200,000 particles per million. But nevertheless, in order to overcome this problem, uh, uh, a 500 uh, water, treated water pipeline will be constructed between Taif and all the way to Central Arabia in order to uh, feed the water uh, to, to, to these mines. When we talk about uh, Ma'adin Phosphate project, uh, this is a, a joint venture, uh, basically 70% uh, Ma'adin, 30% was Sabic, and the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to report that we have already started the production in that plant after four years of, uh, of development. Um, and uh, as you can see, that uh, is going to be the investment of $5.6 billion and with 3 million tons of ADAP, 1.4 million tons as phosphoric acid, 4.5 million tons as sulfuric acid, 1.1 tons as ammonia, and uh, we have already init initiated the production. Uh, we have another deposit called Al Khabra, which is 100% owned by Maaden. Uh, which is today is under uh, feasibility study, but we are hoping that will add value uh, for the phosphate sector. Uh, if we move now to the Madden Aluminium project, this is going to be the largest and most efficient vertically integrated aluminium complex in the world as we know it. Uh, you're talking about a total capital value of $10.8 billion. And the project itself can be divided in four sectors. We have the bauxite mine itself, uh, which is in Baitha, uh, in, in the north uh, side of the kingdom. That will produce four million tons uh, annually. And uh, there will be a railway uh, almost uh, 1,400, 1,500 kilometers to the east side where the uh, plants are there located in Ras Azur, or what we call it today, Ras Al Khair uh, complex. That will be operational in 2014. The second sector is the refinery, and that will be located in Ras Al Khair in Jubail area. 
uh, and this will be the first uh, alumina refinery in the GCC. Uh, we are estimating 1.8 million tons annually, and it could be expanded, and hopefully that will be operational also in 2014. In the meantime, uh, the smelter and the rolling mill, uh, hopefully that will be run earlier in 2013. In the smelter, that will be producing around 740,000 tons per annum, expandable also, and the product there will be the ingots, uh, pellets, tea bars, slabs, and for the rolling mill. As for the rolling mill, the estimated production is 380,000 tons per annum, <coughs> expandables, and that will hope, uh, hope to cover the uh, food uh, grade can sheets the autofoil construction applications. Uh, and as I said, we're hoping that will be run by 2013, as scheduled today. The fourth sector, so we talked about the precious metal, we talked about the phosphate, we talked about the aluminum. The fourth sector is the industrial mineral. Uh, today, in the Magna site, uh, site we have already uh, a mine uh, near Medina and Munawara, and uh, that should produce caustic uh, calcinite, magnesite, and dead burned uh, magnesia. As well as, as, as a smaller operations, uh, we have a mine in El Zubera, uh, started in 2008 already, and that will produce a bauxite source of high alumina materials for cement industry, uh, cow line for ceramics, and it could be potential for expansion into downstream uh, engineering cow line products as well. And if you can see that from the small uh, map, this is where we're going to have the railway uh, from J Jalamid or, or Baitha all the way to uh, Ras al-Khair in, in, in east side. Uh, we can basically uh, uh, contribute in the society with, the, with this more increasingly social responsibility effect, uh, like major institute in the in the in the community, and uh, we are doing whatever we can uh, in order to to help and be engaged with the community. With the community, uh, we are not uh, different there from uh, major companies like uh, Sabic or Aramco or or the banks, but uh, we are taking that part uh, seriously now. And as you can see from there, there are many programs where we are uh, as Maadi engaged in. Thank you very much for your uh, listening time, and uh, if there is any question.